The 32 Tala and Dig participants and various dedicated community members introduced Tala and Dig instruments, shared traditional stories, performed cultural dances and spiritual rituals. Exposure to this holistic picture of Tala and Dig life helps to come to a deeper understanding of what Tala and Dig music and art represents and its role in community life. This is what we call bantula. This is an instrument used by our elders, by our lumad here, by our chieftains. Every time they need to call up a meeting or a gathering to their members, if the beat is slow, this means there will be a special gathering or there will be a meeting. And when it is fast like this, there's an emergency call, there's an emergency meeting, or there's a problem in the whole barangay. <laughs> It starts in the mountains, or it starts in the desert, or it starts in the village, or anywhere. A place is what the first sentence is about. And after I tell you all those, I'll give you my example of, 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 this, of the three sentence story. <laughs> Type it, you can. Music and art are priceless expressions that tell stories about who people are, what they value, their outlook on life, and importantly, what we can learn from each other. Both the Tala and Digs and members of Music for the People played critical roles in fostering cultural diplomacy. With all the knowledge shared about music, art, and life, together they created five new Tala and Dig and classically influenced compositions expressing pressing issues of indigenous identity, tradition, connection to land, and life fulfillment. With no words. So a tone poem is a musical poem. Exactly what it says, tone, meaning notes in an artistic way of putting words together, right? Sort of like an interpretive you know, grouping of words or an artistic way of saying something. Character. Were the other two players playing more notes or less notes from the first time we heard the melody. Above that we have sometimes words which indicate sometimes an emotion or feeling of that. So it's not just about how loud or how soft just does in the, the, the sentences that we were writing, but also how we say them or how we might be angry or how we might be quiet. So it's not just loud or soft, but it's an indication of, of, uh, of a character. Lucky decided to take a stroll by the water. Lucky the dog. Um, close by the by his house. When suddenly a silent alligator hiding in the water's edge snatched him up with gaping jaws and dragged him into the water as he yelped and screamed. Bagoto siya, mauto ang bago. Tapos ang nag-compose with Ad Togi, butangan gito niya emotion, okay? So for example, lugar ka ron sa Peace B ka ng, kung sa first line ka niya, okay, kung mag-take ka na, you have to be happy, so happy ka, okay, di ba? Kung sa ikadua, kung sad ma, kung, kung ang imong pag, ay kung nakabutang naman dito nga, sad, kung sad lugar ang imong kuan, so mag-paypod ka nga, murag, it's like I can't really separate it from this now. The way that they they've never written it down like this before, so yeah. it's really interesting to kind of tell them like this is how I 
interpret rhythms, and it's interesting mm. for me to see the way that the rhythms are like endless almost. Uh, it's almost like, the, like Indian rhythms or something. I was trying to show them that yeah. there's a way that I can actually save what we create. You know, mm -hmm. I can write down, if you guys come up with something, I can write it down. And yeah, it's can, not just... Long. So it's not like, oh, I did it once, and then what was it again? Mm -hmm. I can actually Vani record. already started improvising uh, songs. Really? She started singing a song, I was like, oh, what, what, is that a song? She's like, oh, I'm just making it up. And like, she's like, oh, making it up. Really cool. Two, three, all the way to seven times. So then it comes back to home, it comes back to the original Tama, and then it goes somewhere new, and it comes back. So that's a rondo. If we give, the Tama is A, and the palace is B. But then you use the stick on, yeah. on the, you turn it upside down, and hit it on the side, and then it hits it. So. <laughs> about how we can combine these and use parts of them in our piece of music. Is that okay or do you want to use different poems? It's okay? Because we can... It's more um, thinking, more questions, right? It's more free. If you want to stop, just say whoa, whoa. The Thala and Diggs took music for the people on guided walks through their fields and farms. They demonstrated traditional farming techniques, inspiring the members of music for the people to try it out for themselves. Various environmental and economic situations of the Tala and Digs were also shared. Sa composition, I ginawa ko muna siya na poem. Ginawa ko muna siya ng poem. Sa kakusya, binibigyan ng tono. At first, parang walang walang kabuhay buhay pero yung second time they were already taught how to use their uh, even a clap simple clap misikot lang na mga pamamaraan pwede na pala yung uh, lagyan ng melody na ritmo then yun ay magiging isang musika na para sa amin marami din yung natutunan nila sa amin ang kagaya nung um, yung mga instruments, yung mga traditional instruments, mga ritmo, yung mga steps sa uh, cultural dances namin. Um, isang melody at rhythm para makagawa ako ng isang music.